Hey brothers and sisters, Matt Hatton here. So we have a, another hero in the Knights of Avalon video series. Uh, we're going to take a look at King Arthur. Uh, he's a really interesting hero. He doesn't necessarily fit strongly in any type of uh, meta uh, or any uh, specific uh, position on a team, if you will. Um, but he, ha he does have a lot of um, cool things about him. Uh, so let's just jump into it and you know I'll do my best to try and explain how I look at King Arthur and then um, obviously this is one of those heroes that is open to interpretation so you know maybe this would be one that would be good if you have any thoughts um, after you watch the video you know just share a comment uh, I'd love to hear kind of some other takes on uh, King Arthur as a hero uh, but let's jump into it so as far as King Arthur uh, he is a um, ice hero uh, he's a paladin and he's part of the Knights of Avalon family um, if you were to fully ascend him, his stats uh, are going to be 708 attack, 733 defense, and 1336 health. His special is called Excalibur, uh, and he's running at average mana speed. So he's dealing 468% damage to a single target, uh, which is really, uh, really good single target damage. Uh, that target is getting minus 39% attack for four turns. So he's essentially shutting down or, or taking a big portion of an attack off of a single target, uh, which is nice. Uh, the target is also getting minus 54% defense against ice for four turns. Uh, so, you know, again, a single target, but it's really nice that uh, King Arthur is lowering the defense against ice. Um, it's not your traditional elemental defense down where it's, you know, affecting multiple targets. It is only one target on the team. Uh, so keep that in mind. And then he's also getting plus 74% defense against special skills for four turns, again, only for himself. So he's really increasing his defense and protecting himself, but he's not necessarily helping anybody around him. Um, so as far as King Arthur, if you do want to fully ascend him, uh, to get him at a 370, it's going to be one... Uh, compass, one fine gloves, and four warm capes. And then if you want to send him to 480, uh, it's going to be one Damascus blade, one tome of tactics, four more warm capes, and six telescopes. Uh, the food, in addition to what you would need to feed him uh, as you're leveling up uh, for the ascension side, would be 1.15 uh, million food. So uh, King Arthur, with him being a paladin, uh, it is going to require 1,500 emblems to take him all the way up to 20. Uh, whether you would do that or not, um, you know, I don't know. Um, I probably wouldn't be using the paladin emblems on King Arthur, um, but if he's all you got as far as a paladin, he's not a bad hero. So, you know, please don't misinterpret my kind of mixed thoughts on him. Um, if you take the sword path, his attack would be 804, his defense would be 816, and his uh, health would be 1520. And then if the shield path uh, would be 759 attack, 870 defense, and 1448 health. So if I were to ascend him, I, I probably, um, as a paladin, would take him uh, on the sword path, actually. Uh, most of the paladins that you'd want to level up would be uh, probably the shield path. But again, he's a very unique hero, uh, so I would rather... Uh, lean into his attack and lean into his health uh, rather than um, count on his defense too much because he's not really going to be a hero that's going to be suited for a tank uh, just because he's really looking out for himself and he's not really doing much for you know the, the heroes that are around him on the team. Um, as far as the Paladin uh, special ability, it is called Protect. So if you were to fully ascend him all the way up to 20, you're going to get a 15% chance to do or to get plus 25 percent defense buff for four turn or for two turns uh, after receiving any damage um, so you know again this is great as far as uh, when you're looking at a tank uh, that's a paladin but as far as a single target you know it's it in my opinion it's a little bit of a waste of emblems to try and be getting this ability just to protect him i mean he is very good at protecting himself as it is uh, without this special um, but if you do ascend him you know again my recommendation would be to or emblem him i should say my recommendation would just be follow the swords and the health um, down the emblem path uh, just try and increase his damage uh, that he's putting out and try and increase his health you don't necessarily need to worry too much about his defense stat 
Um, he is an ice hero. I do apologize that the images are nature. Um, I don't have the uh, I don't have the uh, ice troops uh, or as far as the pictures that I would want to use. So I just use the nature. So just keep that in mind. We are talking about ice here. Um, but in terms of to fully uh, charge up King Arthur's special, you're going to need 10 tiles uh, that go or they're launched into the enemies. Or if you ghost five tiles, you will fully uh, fill fill his special. Um, his his best troop is going to be the mana troop. Um, but as I've mentioned on previous heroes, I would uh, not necessarily use the mana troop until you get it fully leveled to 23 uh, to change his charge rate from normal to fast. So I'm actually going to recommend looking at the ninja troops if you're lucky to have an ice ninja. Um, you could use the base form. Um, it's essentially going to give you more attack and defense. Uh, which is going to help. Um, it also is going to increase uh, the rate at which uh, King Arthur would get healed. And then, um, you know, as is the story in a lot of these other heroes, once you get the mana troops to level 23 and ice, uh, then you can, you know, use those troops uh, to increase King Arthur's charge rate. But until you get that, just, you know, be creative. You know, maybe you want to use the crit troop. I actually like the mana troops if you're lucky enough to have him with King Arthur because you're also getting the pierce ability. Uh, so you have a chance to bypass uh, enemy shields um, with this high single target attack. Um, as far as the Knights of Am Avalon family bonus, again, with uh, two, three, or four, or five heroes in this family, you're going to be getting a critical chance increase of plus 5, 10, 15, or 20%. And then the healing bonus is going to be plus 4, 6, 9, or 13%. So as far as the bonus build or the family bonus build, um, there's not a perfect spot uh, for King Arthur. I mean, if you are going to put him in uh, one of these builds, I would say, um, you know, go with the Guinevere tank build that I covered in the Guinevere specific video, um, putting King Arthur as the wing two, uh, just so he can kind of be protected. He is running at normal uh, mana speed without any mana troops uh, instead of fast. Uh, but because he's uh, very tanky um, as an individual and he's putting out high single target damage, um, he is kind of more in the wing um, category more than the flank, um, in my opinion. Uh, as far as the meta, uh, you know, it's a big question mark. He doesn't really fit into any specific meta because he's kind of a jack of all trades, but an expert of none or whatever that, you know, saying is. So I just took a shot at like basically, you know, kind of, Putting out a team that I think I would personally use him in. Um, if I were going up against a team that was very strong with a bunch of nature uh, heroes or nature attackers, I would uh, say that you know King Arthur would be great in like a um, in a uh, ice mono team. So if you were to put Krampus as tank, um, he's he's taking a lot of the damage off of the other heroes and giving them time to charge up. But then also Krampus is you know really uh, skyrocketing the damage of the heroes in the team. So keep that in mind. So if you were to run King Arthur and uh, Frida as the two flanks, uh, you're doing a lot of um, defense down or elemental defense down as far as each of them can take down uh, the defense uh, against ice against the enemy team of course Frida is doing it against all uh, whereas King Arthur is just going to be picking one target uh, to decrease the damage uh, but it's really great you know as far as using him in that capacity because he can single out an enemy and really uh, make sure that their uh, shields are lowered for the other attackers or he might be able to wipe them out completely and then in this build I would definitely recommend putting a lassie in wing one uh, for the main reason that she is going to bump up the attack of all ice heroes in the party. So she's essentially helping herself. She's helping King Arthur. She's helping uh, Frida. And then uh, she's going to help any uh, normal damage that's coming out uh, from these heroes as well. And then for Wing 2, um, I would say if you have Ariel, uh, she's a great hero. I like her in this uh, team build because she is increasing the mana gen uh, significantly. So she's essentially, you know, taking the normal uh, mana charge of uh, both King Arthur and uh, Frida, and she's raising that up. Uh, so that's going to help a lot. And then obviously she's going to be um, boosting the mana of Krampus a lot. So, you know, if he starts going off continuously, I think it's pretty much game over for the other team. And then Alassie, you know, she's running it fast anyway, so she really doesn't need a lot of help. She pumps out a lot of single tar target damage, and then she is obviously uh, decreasing the mana gen from the enemy team uh, with her ability. 
Um, so as far as the best position for King Arthur, uh, there really is no best position. What I would say is probably steer clear of the tank. Uh, for what I mentioned before, he's a, he's a lone wolf type of hero, so he's really not helping anybody except for himself. Uh, so he's going to excel in the flank or the wing. I think he can survive uh, in both. If you don't have a fast uh, mana hero for the wing, you can put him there. Um, if you do have a couple uh, fast mana um, heroes, then you know keep those in the wing and go ahead and put them in the flank because um, he is he is pretty tanky so he can protect himself pretty well if the tank does happen to go down as far as uh, titans he is going to be an a uh, against fire titans uh, with the elemental defense down on the single target um, that is great against titans so uh, you could use him in place of uh, frida if you don't have uh, her that you normally use against the ice titans uh, so he's Pretty, pretty darn good, good hero uh, as far as against Fire Titans. Uh, for Wars, um, he does get an A uh, because he is a very uh, unique hero in that you could use him in a lot of, against a lot of different teams. Um, you know, especially if you're going into a war and the other team is running uh, nature tanks. Uh, King Arthur uh, or multiple copies of him would be really helpful. Um, on defense, I'm going to give him a B. Um, he is close to getting a C in my opinion, but he does have some use. It's just without you controlling him um, as a player, you know, he's he's doing a lot of single target stuff and you really have no idea who he's going to be firing into on the defense. Uh, so he's not a not a horrible hero, but he's definitely not an A. Uh, in raids, again, same with wars. I do like his uh, ability to really focus in on some some uh, specific needs uh, that you would need him to fill uh, so he'll get an A there and then tourneys um, you know he he is going to perform well in a, all the tourneys um, you know he's good in uh, rush attack he's good in bloody battle uh, because he's keeping himself alive and without those healers uh, in bloody battle you know he's he's really going to do a good job of still being able to pump out the damage but staying alive and then you know in the buff um, I, I think he does pretty well as uh, in addition to uh, the other tourneys because he can uh, put a lot of buffs um, on the enemy or debuffs I should say and then he's also buffing himself so uh, in the events um, you know he's he's a very strong hero as a standalone hero so events he's gonna get an A as well I would say overall you know I was torn on King Arthur you know all he, although he is an A he is very uh, niche uh, as far as his use so I'm going to go ahead and give him an A overall. Um, he might be a B plus in or, or B in some people's perspective. But if you have the right heroes to surround him with, you know, don't get me wrong. He he does have a lot of powerful uh, things that are going on with his special. It's just really all about knowing when to use him and using him in, you know, kind of the right time and the right place. Uh, so if you do uh, appreciate these um, in-depth reviews, you know, definitely like and subscribe. It definitely helps out uh, the channel. And um, otherwise, we will be getting a, a new video out shortly. So thanks for tuning into this one, and we hope to see you soon on the next one. Take care, everybody.